Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another quick tip. Today I'm going to talk about how you can select um, an area and make your photos pop a little bit better. Now these photos that I'm going to be using are um, in the public domain, so I'm just going to use them as examples. Um, here's an easier one and here is a more complicated one that I want to show you how to do. Um, for example, if you take a picture and you want to kind of exclude someone from the picture or if you want to put it in your website like I'm going to do, um, it's not too difficult. What we're going to do, and I'm using fireworks, what we're going to do is we're going to pick our um, magic tool here, our magic wand, and we're just going to select an area. Now, well, before I do that, selecting, I'm selecting the feather area and I'm selecting the feather. It doesn't really matter this number and I'm going to show you why in a second but I'm going to use um, this tolerance. Now this tolerance here just means that it's going to pick either more of the same types of color or or I can be less tolerant and only pick the black. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it like around the middle so they can pick some of this extra stuff that's right here. So I'm going to do this and so it's selected just about everything around there. You see? And I'm going to press shift select to get this little bit and that little bit. So very simple and then I'm just going to press delete and since I have feathering on I can continue pressing delete and it's going to basically delete everything else. So I'm going to keep pressing delete and as you can see it got a little bit more and then I can continue pressing delete and it's going to feather it for me so I don't have to go to any extra se uh, settings or anything I can just press uh, delete as many times as I want and feather it as many times as I want. So I'm going to undo once because I don't want to feather it that much. And then I'm going to go and say deselect and I got this little bitty area here and we can take care of that with our eraser tool. So let's get a little bit smaller brush here and just erase that little bit and this little bit. So now that we have that selected um, we can go ahead and uh, change our canvas to um, no background and to transparent I mean and uh, that's it you can finish right there but what I like to do is take it a little step further and uh, select our image right here and we're going to first we're going to uh, crop our image a little bit so let's go ahead and crop it so we're just gonna right click on our image and we're going to say edit crop selected bitmap and there we go and there we go double click and then we're cropped and then we can go ahead and fit the canvas and this is what we're working on so now that you have a bitmap and since everything is uh, transparent you can really make this pop so we can go ahead and add some Photoshop live effects and the two effects I tend to do more are the drop shadow which instantly brings it up and the bevel and emboss that kind of brings it over like that and so as you can see now it's really nice and we can actually take this shadow a little bit further size here there you go actually let's change this back to black and there's our size and there's how we have everything set up and um, and that that works perfectly we're also going to take our oops let's say okay and let's take our cropping tool here and crop some of this out here because we don't want any of that extra stuff okay and of course you can go ahead and you can do it just like this or you can do a little bit more a little bit less but this will look really nice on a background this will look really nice if you have like let's say you had a background like this and you want it to make it pop it looks beautiful so let's say you wanted to do something with a little bit more complicated so let's use this area right here so let's crop out this area if I can get it selected here there we go so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and select that area this is all we're gonna work with and we're gonna do the same thing but you'll see that we're gonna have some issues with these lines but using that double delete um, uh, process of doing stuff works perfectly. So we're going to select this area and we're going to shift and keep selecting as much as we can. We're going to keep selecting here. 
all of this until everything kind of joins in. I'm going to select this up here, this right here, this center section right here, this section right here, uh, this area right here, this area right there. And then just keep selecting until we get pretty much, uh, n you know, a continuous uh, area here. Okay, very good. So we got pretty much a continuous area. We don't have any breaks in the lines. And now we're going to press delete. And as you can see, we got some extra lines right here. And again, all you have to do is press backspace again. And it starts fading that out. You see? And now we can take care of this extra area by just uh, uh, deleting using our little tool here. To make it a little bit bigger since this is a bigger picture there we go and that's a lot cleaner very good and again we can make our background clear like this we can even fit canvas there and we're all set we have our um, area that we wanted to select and again this next part is really up to you what I like to do some um, elements here that Firefox is so nice to bring. We're going to drop do the drop shadow and we're going to do the bevel and emboss. And then since we have such a huge uh, picture here, we got to make our drop shadow a little bit bigger. So we're going to bring it out a little bit, maybe spread it a little bit more. As you can see, some of these other things are coming out. So we'll have to deal with that later. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. And spread it a little bit less. There we go. That works. Say OK. And then all you have to do is really deal with all these things here. So we could do the same thing now that we see where everything is. And just press delete. And it deletes all that extra stuff really simple and then we can deselect and now it's nice and clean there we go we don't have to be exact as long as we have this feather it's going to continue taking out the area so there's your little tip now when we put this on let's say a yellow background Let's say we have a nice yellow background or a gold background. It looks really nice there. Let's make sure we take care of all this right here. Since it didn't get all the edges. We don't want any of these edges. Maybe you do. It's up to you. So now, doesn't that look a lot better? Here it is before. Here it is before. Nice and it's fine, but... I think that looks a lot better. It looks like it's popping out of the page. If you have any questions, let me know. This is Roberto Matthews. Have a beautiful day.